I'm now going to make the marinade for the beef satay. I have here some thin steaks, thin, uh, thin sirloin steaks, which I bought at the supermarket like this. And I want to cut them into strips about like that and put them in a bowl. put those off to the side for the moment. Now we'll make the marinade that's going to go over the beef. I have a little cheat card here because there's so many ingredients that go in here. So we're going to start off with, in my food processor, four whole garlic cloves. And then I have a piece of ginger, about an inch and a quarter that I peeled and roughly chopped. That goes in. I have five tablespoons of brown sugar, light brown sugar. Let me see, oil. I have two tablespoons of regular vegetable or canola oil. Then I have some soy sauce and I've got three tablespoons of soy. This is going to be so fragrant. My three tablespoons of soy and then I have some Thai fish sauce and you can find this kind of ingredient in just about any supermarket now I've seen it everywhere so I need four tablespoons of that and people say oh my god fish sauce well alone yeah it kind of smells bad but when you add it with all these ingredients and the sugar it really takes on a whole new smell then in my little cup here I have a half a teaspoon of turmeric, I've got two tablespoons of coriander, two teaspoons of cumin. Then I'm also going to add, I have some chilies growing on my deck and I, this is a Fresno chili, which is a pretty hot chili. Um, it's up to you how hot you want the sauce to be. You can put in three of these if you want to. I'm only going to put in one because I guess I'm a bit of a wimp. And I'm going to take out those seeds, as many as I can. Just kind of cut it up roughly. Add that to the mixture. And let me see if I have everything. I do. So now we're going to process this to make it blend. That's pretty good. Now, bring our beef over. And let's get this marinade on the beef. And then after we pour the marinade on, we're going to put this one in the refrigerator. And it's going to be in there for uh, at least one hour, preferably two to three. And you can go in there every once in a while and kind of give everything a little stir. So I'm going to cut this up with plastic wrap and into the refrigerator it goes and we'll deal with this in about two to three hours. Well, as you can see, Pam and I are busy skewering the beef satay that we marinated earlier. It's been marinating now for a little over five hours. It smells yummy. Let's hope it tastes as good as it smells. I can strongly smell the garlic. There's a lot of ingredients. Yeah, in I'm not really sure. There's so many different things in there. The turmeric, and I don't, that's giving it a little bit of color. The coriander, the cumin. Was the coriander seeds or ground? I used seeds, but when I put them all, I put all the ingredients in a food processor, so they got a little bit on the ground side. Oh, okay. Actually, as <clears throat> I was mentioning when I did the um, original marinade, um, the original recipe for this beef satay asked, uh, called for coriander roots. Really? I've never even heard of that. Um, I, you know, I did some research online to look for coriander roots, and they said, yeah, they're, they're traditional um, far middle, not Middle East, but Far East ingredient in Thailand and such. And so I went in search <laughs> oh, you tried for to find coriander it? roots. 
Any luck? No. Oh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, I went and searched for the lemongrass, and I found that, and I asked the same gentleman in the store if he had coriander roots, and he kind of gave me a very funny look and said, no. 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 Almost like uh, I don't think he knew what I was asking for. Yeah. I wonder where you'd even buy that. I have no idea. You think it comes dried, or would it be fresh? It like, was fresh, what I saw online. Oh. Looked like they just yanked this plant out of the ground, <laughs> And there were these little bulbous kind really? of a root on the end of it. And that supposedly was coriander root. Huh. And they said the taste is tremendously different than regular coriander. So I guess wow. we're not getting the real flavor. We're not getting the real deal here, huh? <laughs> we're getting, mm. we're getting dry coriander. Really here. It is. But that's all right. I'm sure it's going to be just Well, as if good. someone finds it, let us know. All right, I'm going to so, get rid of this. We'll you get rid of that. I'll get the first batch going on the grill. Ooh, that's nice and hot. And we'll come back and show you what our beef saute looks like when it's all done sizzling away. Our beef saute is just about ready. Done. Smells goodly. And Pam's got a beautiful salad here. I do. I cannot wait to sink my teeth into that beef. Me too.